People, I'm gonna tell you like it is. There's this artist whose username is Real Ambush Bruisier. Or Real Ambush Bruisier, or whatever you wanna call it. But this guy, he has what I'd like to call a unique art style that would otherwise be considered unique. Okay, I scratched that back. She has a unique art style that would generally be considered unique. Now, that being said, she's only been on DeviantArt for a little under a week now, but her art style is already incredibly impressive which says a lot and let's let's just take a look at all of these you know one by one right let's take a look at all of these all three of these specifically one by one right so here's the first one it's the first one of course was a digital art entry for a challenge that she was working on and let me just say right now this stuff that she came up with in, her, in this first drawing of hers this is really unique I like it a lot which says a lot now doesn't it and I'm telling you now straight up She's got it. Right then and there, she's got it. She has a special style about her, in her art style, her technique in drawing, coming up with stuff and whatever. Even the background looks amazing. You know, the, the vintage effect? That's cool too, you know? And come to think of it, Let's go to this this sketch that she did. This is the second one. This is a character named Chernobyl, who's named after the nuclear disaster of the same name that happened some three decades before. And this drawing looks very, very neatly drawn. You know? Kind of like the stuff that I drew back when I was in Art Fundamentals when I was still a community college student. I'm not anymore, but the reason why I don't go to school anymore is simple enough. Because I don't need it. You don't need to go to school to major in things that you're already a master at because it's just not needed. But back to the point. This, this sketch that she made of Chernobyl, this is quite impressive. This is, this is literally grade A astounding. With a couple of exclamation marks at the end. But, let me just point out. The anatomy in this picture, although it's not the best, as she's only been a deviant for a little under a week, it still shows that she has got it. She's literally got that it factor about her that not many artists who have been on for as short and short a time as she has have. She's got that distinct capability and I can see it in this picture. No doubt about it. I mean there's just no question. And, and let's let's take a look at this last yeah. one. This most recent one that she submitted. Oh. Let's take a look at this picture that she made of what appears to be you know I mean this is this is another digital art apparently, a fan art of a character named Dino or as he's referred to, Mirage, or whatever. It but must be right. This particular we know fan art drawing 
this is just for someone that's been on DeviantArt for about three or four days this is just completely virtuosic it's the kind of stuff that you'd expect a modern day Leonardo da Vinci to draw on a computer so this is and that's saying a lot because this stuff is completely entirely bafflingly good it's great and you know she's got a she's got a black background so you know it has some kind of background to it which as a whole says a lot because I mean I asked her yesterday in a note if she wanted me to feature her gallery on what would be this particular episode of reaching out to the infamous this would be number five I believe and she said sure it would be an honor which is basically what she said I, I can't really think about off the top of my head what she said exactly but basically she liked the idea so much that she just thought okay let's go for it I'm all for it if you're in then I'm in but back to the point this latest drawing of hers this is top-notch for someone that's been on DeviantArt for about three or four days this is the coup de gras of what every professional artist would look for in an up-and-comers work and I'm a professional artist but yet after all these years I still draw like I'm 10 years old but the thing is I'm not 10 years old anymore <laughs> but I still draw like a 10 year old so yeah I can't say that my own art style hasn't improved because that would be a lie of course it's improved but in its own way meanwhile this between this picture this sketch and her first digital drawing that she submitted here just based on these three drawings from this one to the last one that she submitted most recently she's already made a magnificent incredible unbelievable improvement and it just I mean this just this blows my mind I've never seen anyone who's been able to submit three drawings submitted within three or four days following said deviant's own membership into this into this art site with each one looking more and more astounding and astonishing than the last one yeah. I mean, oh, I just, I don't even know what to say, man. This is just completely top-notch. You're not going to get this in many other places, people, let me tell you. You will not get this in many other places. Oh, by the way, by the way, I should point out. Let me just tell you something. Insight, it must be. To the right. artist who I'm featuring in this Ratu. particular episode of Ratu, you're absolutely welcome. Absolutely. Infinitely many times over. And I remember telling her straight up that I would start working on it tomorrow, which was last night, today. 
you know? Because last night I told her I'd start working on it tomorrow, which apparently is today. But, I mean, you get it, right? You get the idea. But, just... But seriously, though. Take... Huh? So, I mistaken Real Ambush Bruisier for the artist that I actually want to refer to as Warrior Art and OCs. And apparently this this is the person I'm referring to. Apparently I mixed different deviants up, which is which is pretty easy to do since I have so many watchers and I watch so many people and all this and whatever, but let, let me just put it like this. Her name is Kat Anderson, she shares my last name, and Sorry, she has been a deviant be right. for we know it too. about two weeks, for about two months and a week. And she's got 105 deviations submitted over two months. And just the two months and a week that she's been here. And each one is actually pretty good. You know? But the other one that I was referring to, Real Ambush Bruisier, she hails from Canada, which is in North America, whereas Kat Anderson, she resides in, of course, America, United States, but this is the gallery that I actually meant to, to show you guys, but the other one that I featured before I got to this one, that counts too, so I'm featuring that one as well. So. But let's, let's take a look at her stuff. Let's take a look at her stuff. So, this, this drawing, you know, this is truly remarkable for a first drawing. Let me tell you, it's remarkable. It's a special kind of special that you just can't get in many other places. And, and check this out. This is a step up from that. She's got her shadow effect completely mastered, it seems, at such a young age. It's just astonishing to me. And and the poses of these two characters, those are just... They're really, really impressive, I gotta tell you. Yeah. And, and what about this one? Oh. Well, I mean... I mean, not the best sketch that I've seen, but it's still very fantastic nonetheless. I mean, she's got the anatomy down pat, the horns, the scales, the teeth, the gums, the nose, the tongue, neckline, horns. She's got it all down pat. And let's, let's check this one out. This one is supposedly her first drawing on her computer which is actually really really impressive considering this was her first go around in terms of say drawing on a computer I happen to draw on my computer with a mouse pad you know cuz that that rectangular thing yeah but here's another one that she made jagged legs this one's a pretty good drawing too I like this one this one is also pretty good I like the rainbow color to it very very nice also there's a strange kind of reference to the Illuminati in here <laughs> not that anybody cares but I mean it's all good so I give her the benefit of the doubt other than that though it's a really 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 great picture it's, it's it's just brilliant and look at this that's a good picture too yeah see she reminds me of me when I was younger when I was in my teenage years because I had so many ideas circulating in my mind I didn't know what to do with them then I figured it out in front, and this one looks great here right yeah we know it too. This is just 
This is wonderful. Oh, by the way, check out her Gmail, catchingcats at gmail.com. Catching cats is all one word. At, that's the at sign, gmail.com. Go check that out. Please. And, and what about this? What about this? This one, this one is really, really good. This is completely top notch. I mean, it's, it's not the best, but it's top notch. And that's saying something since she's only been around for about nine weeks on DeviantArt. And this is, this is a selfie of her, believe it or not. A selfie drawing of her. I like that. Also, I'm a geek as well, so I can relate. Look at this. Look at this. This. This is really, really good. I like this. This is great. Yeah, that looks good too. That's good. That's great. I like the I like the shading right here. The transparent shading right here. That's that is remarkable. And and let's look at this. This one. The shading in this one quite impressive. I like that. Very impressive. Very remarkable. And now let's let's look at her latest drawings. Let's let's take a look at her latest drawings, okay? How about we just do that? So this is this is the drawing of hers that I faved just yesterday, and she tried a new technique. I'm gonna comment on this, and I'm just gonna tell her how I feel about it. So yeah. But yeah, basically, this is her new technique, and it's just, it's very innovative. I like how she's able to scribble all these different things, and yet make them so realistic at the same time, like something out of a real-life, psychedelic-style abstract painting mixed with a side of Art Nouveau and Renaissance style paintings. This is just... I really like this a lot. This is my favorite one of hers so far. But enough about that. This one... I can clearly see an improvement between her first drawings and this one. Which says a lot, because her first drawings were pretty, pretty good. I liked it. I liked her first drawings a lot. And let's take a look at this one, huh? This one... Wow. His... His overalls look... The bottom of his overalls look like a number three horizontally inverted. Well, at least he has a backpack, so that's good. What's that? Tea kettle on his head? Let's pop the kettle black, man. Yeah. But anyway... That's pretty much it. This is, this is art style that she's shown me through her art. It's really, really good. Especially this one. I like this one. Yeah, but the kinds of... Oh, what about this one? Yeah, that. Now that is genius. Look at all these wires that she managed to draw effortlessly. Very, I'm telling you, that's creative. That's some creative stuff right there. Let me tell you. Yeah. But honestly, though, I'm just going to go about and, and say this. Oh, she has a photograph. Oh, who would have thought? <laughs> Smooth Pelted Smooth is her cat. She has a cat. That's, that's great. That is so awesome. But yeah, 
But my personal favorites from her gallery would have to be her second drawing, yeah! her eighth drawing, her selfie drawing, Therefore, and now that I think about it, her comic, her photograph of yep. her cat, which her original character is based upon. That drawing of an anthropomorphic robot who has wires implanted into him for whatever reason. Glitching out. This one is another personal favorite of mine. And this one too. I mean really, it's just... I'm telling you though, seriously, this is just... This gallery she has is totally, totally impressive. This is the kind of gallery that... I'm telling you, in the, in the nine weeks that she's been on DA, on DeviantArt, she's improved in ways I never even thought were possible. For someone as young as she is. And, and I don't know that she's young at all. She, right. she might be... She might be my age. She might be... My younger cousin Seven's age. I don't know. But... The point is... She's developed... A unique art style. And over nine... Weeks... She has... Almost nearly perfected it... In such a way that it's almost as if she's become a master at her trade. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye for now.